I have with me my new Singer sewing tradition machine. It's the Singer model uh, 2282. I've just picked it up. It's got some great features. It has a metal chassis. It's got automatic needle threader. This machine cost me £40. Lots of accessories, which I checked on the box. It's got a, a buttonhole foot, button foot, zip foot. They're very important. And a darning plate, uh, which we'll explain at further time. Um, a one-step, fully automatic buttonholer. If you're like me, you hate buttonholes, this is amazing. It's got easy selection for stitches and uh, width and length adjusters, which you get on a lot of machines, but for £40, it's amazing. And on there, you can see it's got 32 built-in stitches. Um, and that's if you don't include the buttonhole. So that's me unboxed the machine and it's just so freshly unboxed, everything still in its packaging and I've still got the piece of paper on there. So let's get started. Let's first thing we're going to do is we are going to spend some time reading the manual. Now, I love this machine as a beginner's machine. So this machine is easy to use and it's fully functional. It's even got the automatic threader, which when you hit a certain age, you definitely need. Or if you've got clumsy fingers, you know, fat finger syndrome, which is the other thing I suffer from. Um, it's brilliant for that. I'm going to plug it in so you've got your pedal, nothing special, and your uh, connector to the machine, so your power's connector. It has a light on and off or with the power, so you've got light on there. It's brilliant. It's so easy to use. Let's lift the presser foot and get rid of this piece of paper that's not needed. If we open this accessories box, just slides over to the left, flip it round, and we have a finger hole there. And inside is a collection of goodies, which we love. Let's pop that back for a minute. We're going to use our checklist in the manual front so two things that are important about this manual it tells you well what and where everything is and if I flip the pages over make sure you understand and start learning to use the names for what these different parts of the machine is uh, it's not a thing in my jig it's not a thing in my bob <laughs> or what's it called uh, use the proper names and it will help you, no dividends, um, later on. So, at the bottom, we've got a list of accessories that came with this machine. So I've gone through and I've checked that my accessories are all in the bag. Sorry, I have cheated a little bit, I've already checked. So, all the different accessories are there. So, if you look at a different video, I will go through them and what they are and give you a little snippet of all your little goodies. But this one is probably going to be your best friend. It's called a seam ripper or a stitch ripper or a lifesaver. And it's your brush as well, which you will use to clean the lint as it builds up on your machine. Some spare needles. Now, a lot of people say you need spare needles because you will break lots and lots. Hopefully, use your machine correctly. You shouldn't. We rarely break machines here. Um, use your machine correctly. You shouldn't have any breakages. Um, darning plates. Extra bobbins. Now, I'm going to say this now. Don't load two colours, three colours, on top of each other on your bobbins. And when you buy replacements, make sure you contact a Singer supplier and tell them the model of your machine. Don't buy these generic ones off eBay and Amazon because as lot, uh, you know, they're tempting because they're a great price. But the problem is you end up usually with the wrong size and you end up in tears because you will get bobbing issues. And everybody knows bobbing issues are something we don't want. Another important thing we need is this um, 
thread stopper. So what it does is, let me just bring you over. On your machine, you have your thread spindle there. And when you pop your thread on there, you are going to want to prevent it from flying all over the place. So you have two sizes, one for large reels and one for small reels there. Let's pop you back. So we've got our machine switched on. We've got everything there. Let me just show you the cover as well. So, which is a lovely fabric cover. So it's not a plastic cover. They've actually given you the fabric, which is great. Um, because I always think the plastic ones tear very quickly. It goes over nicely. And you can see it fits beautifully. And it's got a lovely hole there at the top for your handle. And it's such a lightweight machine. Um, you can take it to classes with you. It's a great one for if you can't deal with heavy machines. For kids learning how to sew, like I said, it's my daughter who I bought this for originally. I bought this second, uh, this same model second time around and only because I do recommend it. I do think it's a great model to begin with or as a second machine. And we will make some great things with this. The next project I want to make actually is um, a yoga mat holder, but I'm also going to be making a bag. So I've got my scissors ready and I've bought some thread and I'm going to be opening this in another video and showing you how to thread up your machine. 